Today I want to show you how to remove and clean the manifold air pressure sensor and the air temperature sensor which are on the same unit on this Volkswagen app from 2013. Also a few simple tests you can do to determine if the sensor is responding to different air values. On this three cylinder gasoline engine there is no mass airflow sensor therefore the computer will rely more than usual on the MAP sensor and the temperature sensor to calculate how much air goes into the cylinders so having this sensor in good working condition will be crucial for running this engine correctly. On this car the manifold absolute pressure sensor is located on the left side of the intake. To remove it unplug the connector and back here there is a plastic flap which you have to press outwards and then wiggle the sensor out like so. Now some of you asked if the sensor will be affected if there is oil or carbon buildup on it and if the readings will be incorrect. Well in short term will not damage anything on the engine and it will not trigger the check engine light. However on a long run the car will have a slightly poor fuel economy or loss of power depending on other variables found on that engine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this sensor. I'm gonna use mass airflow sensor cleaner. It's a little bit of overkill but still it will do the job. Now it looks like new. There is another map sensor on this engine. It looks like it sits right before a check valve and then there is a tube going right below the throttle into the intake. By the way if you have a closer look you can see that black round tip that's the temperature sensor that's how they usually look like and the hole inside there is gonna be used by the map sensor so it's a kind of two-in-one sensor. Now in order to do some tests I'm going to connect back the sensor but I will not connect the sensor on the intake I'm gonna let it here under the dashboard I'm going to connect a scanner on the OBD2 port. This scanner will provide with some live data. The first one is the intake manifold absolute pressure. I just connect basically a fuel hose with some adapters to the vacuum pump. Now watch when I apply vacuum you will see how the manifold pressure is going to decrease. Yeah you can see over there. I will increase the vacuum, here we go, and if I let the pressure go, you will see a sudden rise back to atmospheric pressure, a clear rise over there and it's steady. This is a confirmation that the sensor itself doesn't have any problem. Next I'm gonna test the intake air temperature sensor. Right now there are 21 degrees Celsius, I'm gonna use a propane torch not on the maximum level, I'm just gonna hold it like next to it just a little bit and the temperature should increase and you can see it already does, we've got 24 degrees Celsius if I will place the flame under, here we go, the temperature increases much faster, 57, so it just goes up and up that's a clear sign of a good working intake air temperature sensor if you do not have a scan tool, you can use a voltmeter. As you can see, I connected these two wires, number one and number four, and I've got the value of 4.1 volts. So you will see now when I increase the vacuum, the voltage will decrease. Here we go, 3.1, 2.3, and if I press slowly, you can see how the voltage is decreasing as well. Now it's not the best test you can do because you cannot see if there is any drops in voltage. That's usually what's the fault of these sensors is when the signal drops and then comes back to normal. You will not be able to read that with a voltmeter because the voltmeter is slow in reading the voltage. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back into the intake. Now of course you can do this test with the sensor on the intake but that's gonna be more challenging to connect the probes of the multimeter. One more thing about this sensor, you know the plastic clip which is supposed to hold the sensor in position down there sometimes can break so instead of that you can use 
those two holes there are two holes on each side of the sensor and with the five millimeter thread maker tool a five millimeter bolt you can still connect the sensor on the intake without that plastic flap finally i want to show you how to read the data of the intake manifold absolute pressure sensor with the engine on so right now it's idling it's around 800 rpms if i increase the rpms what is going to happen with the pressure inside the intake it's going to increase because right now it's vacuum since on the idling is the most vacuum you can have so if i increase the rpms you will see also an increase in the pressure into the intake yeah you can see right there how the pressure increases that's what you should see and it should be direct proportional with the engine rpm and the throttle position sensor as well these graphs are not so good but you can see how the spikes are in the exact line with the other values all right guys that was it thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you are new to this channel and you want to see more car repair videos hit that subscribe button and until next time drive safe and i will see you soon